Hi everyone, my name is Vice and welcome back to Valhalla Cyberpunk Bart Interaction. Last time we went on a break and took dog stuff with the dog vet person and had dogs. It was a very doggy night, but now there are no dogs in sight. And okay then, back to work. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh hey there, Alma. Eh. Eh? Eh. Um... <sighs> she seems down. Maybe there's something I can give her to cheer her up. Let's try to cheer Alma up. She might like classy drinks, but what she really likes... Ah! I want to say Cobalt Velvet. Please be right. Please. Please be right. Please be right. Ugh. I need muns. No, I didn't get any money. Hey. Hmm? And this? It's on me. Drink. So at least change your question. Oh, on me. Come on. You need money. Why don't I just say you're worried about me? You got the message anyway, didn't you? Huh. So, how is it? Well, it has alcohol and I'm in a bar, so good enough, I guess. I got you to speak. That's all I wanted. What, are you gonna jinx me or something? No, but you being down and silent is so uncanny. Make it sound like I'm some kind of windbag. You know what I mean. Yeah, I do, thanks. So, why are you deflating? Deflating? And I got sad and started sighing repeatedly. My grandpa would warn me that if I started to that, that I would start deflating like an old tire if I kept it up. Heh. <laughs> so what is it? Was it the news about people dressing in bunny suits after the whole Alice Rabbit boom? Nah, that's old news. I mean, it is a problem, but such a thing would only annoy me. Say, Jill, how's your mood right now? I want to ruin it by blowing off all my sword steam. Silly, Alma. I've been feeling like utter crap the last couple of days. You can't make me feel worse. So go ahead, unwind all your worries on me. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, so remember my sister Diana? The one that separated from her husband and forgot her kids while screwing away around or something? Perfect summary. I'll use it next time. I didn't tell you the whole story then, more specifically, that she threw her husband out after months of abuse. Oh. However, that woman is incapable of getting a job and maintaining herself. And I mean that. She never even thinks about selling herself or trying to earn her bread. She just expects a guy to do all that for her. I have no idea why she turned out like that. Both my mom and dad were hard workers. They even started a small shop to have something to do after retirement. Huh. So, what does this fully capable woman do a couple weeks later? Why, well, bring her abusive husband back, of course. What? Yeah, and the guy spent a couple of days with her before leaving her again. He had a nice couple of hot steamy nights and then left. I, uh, well... Huh, you reacted like my little brother and sister after hearing that. But the story doesn't end there. Oh no. She's not, so she's broke, and she can't even get enough for a bus. Even though she'd probably be glad to sell her butt to just get money. And it was up to me to pick her up. For the last couple of days, she left her kids with my parents. Being such sweet angels, they've made a mess out of the whole place. Bernardo and Ava are actually staying with me a couple of days to give them some peace. It doesn't help that I never got along with Diana. So we're in the car and she asks how her kids are. And of course, after all the built up tension, I just exploded. First, I started ranting about her kids are growing up seeing some messed up stuff. I started scolding her about not taking responsibility, about not taking proper care of her children. I tell her that she's in no place to have all those escapades. And after all that, she just says, What the hell do you know? You don't have any kids. Uh. Yeah, you slutty skank. I don't have any kids because I'm broke just because I refuse to take a job. Dang! I don't have kids, but I'm not leaving them in the first barely familiar house I find. I don't have kids, but I'm not letting the guy that hit me on a regular basis back into my bed. I don't have kids, but I pretty much raised Ava and... Is it Eva or Ava? Is it Eva and Bernardo, and they've turned out pretty damn well. I don't have any kids, but I'm not a cheap whore! Arg! Damn. I don't know what to say. There's nothing to say. I love my family and I put them above all else. But Diana is seriously pushing the boundaries of what I can allow. 
any way I can help? You just did. Eh? I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not one to let stuff like that get to me. I'm still angry as hell, though, and I couldn't just discuss this with any of my family members. I couldn't tell my mom your daughter is a slut. I just needed to get all this on my chest, you know? Well, when I see there's still a lot more to get off of his chest. It's all this crap. Nah, all I see here is filled with love and dreams. Is everyone in your family as busty as you? The worst offender is my dad, actually. Yeah. Kidding, kidding, okay, good. I guess Yolanda didn't get the big boob gene with Ziva. She insists on getting surgery or genetic treatment, but I tell her she's fine the way she is. These actually can be more of a hassle than a blessing. And poor Bernardo, his breasts actually started growing when he was eight. And I hope I don't take too much from my mother's side of the family. But my father's sister's still are quite young. When menopause hit, my mom lost her looks rather quickly. Any good genes you got from your family, Jill? Good enough skin and hair, I guess. There's a thing about a shrimp allergy, but so far I hadn't had problems with that. Oh, I see. Hmm. Hey, you know what worries me most about the whole Diana situation? How your nephews are turning out? If she leaves him with my mom, we'll turn out better than her. Somehow. Actually, what worries me is, what if I end up like that too? How so? If I find a good man and settle down, what if he turns out crappy? What if I have a sudden burst where I want to live my life and end up like that? What if I have kids and I'm neglecting them because of all of that? If you ask me, the fact that you've been worried about that is enough indication that you'll be fine. You think? I'm pretty sure. You said before that she pretty much married the guy after a couple of months, right? Yeah. No offense, but those are the kind of people who wouldn't even think about all of that. Besides, if any guy ends up marrying you, it's because you passed your irrational standards. Hey! Am I lying? No. The other thing's best kept as unspoken truths. <sighs> I wonder if I'll ever find a good guy. You will. You'll know when the time comes. I sure hope so. For now, the time has come to get another drink. What can I get you? Hmm. Give me something with ice, but alcoholic, please. Alright. Cold and with alcohol. Okay. So there's some really expensive thing on the rocks. That one's promising. Um, on the rocks. Cheaper. That's promising. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, come on. Uh, no, 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 no. It looks like it's gonna be. Wait, 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 wait. Piano Man! That was it. Yeah, Piano Man. Two, three, five, five. Three. Wait, crap. What did I do wrong? Two of you. Three of you. Five. Five. Three. Oh, that was weird, but there you go. Thanks. I needed to cool down a bit. That's why I'm here. So you said you felt crappy the last couple of days. Why? Don't think too much about it. Oh, come on, you heard my problems. I want to help you, too. Don't worry too much. Right, I almost got to tell you something. What is it? My boss is throwing a mega Christmas party this Sunday. You want to come? Sure. Something tells me this mega Christmas is going to be a mess in my parents' home, so I'd rather avoid it. Are you guys getting chicken? I can get one. Hmm. To be honest, I wouldn't know. You can bring it if you want. It won't go to waste. Gotcha. Hmm. Say, Jill, what's your favorite part of the chicken? Favorite part? I guess I like legs the most. I personally love chicken wings. Really, I like breasts better. That's not surprising. Breast is a bit too simple, don't you think? Legs have a better texture. Maybe, but simple is usually better. Breast is easier to enjoy than legs, and a lot less messy. That's where I disagree with you. Hmm, you silly girls. Boss, at least if you eat fried chicken breast, then it's a lot messier. You're there talking about breasts and legs, and everyone wants to know the best- eh, eh. Everyone knows the best part of the wings. Thank you, Dana. Boss, what's that? Spicy chicken wings? Where did you get spicy chicken wings? For a spicy chicken. You know, spicy chicken. The shop two blocks from here. Sorry, let me rephrase that. Why are you carrying a bucket of spicy chicken wings? Why aren't you carrying a bucket of spicy chicken wings? Very good question. Well, because... Eh? Thought as much. Yo, Armitage. Alma. 
I know what I said. Will the chicken you're cooking be cooked? Yeah, will the chicken you're talking about be cooked already? You might need to heat it up, but it'd be cooked otherwise. Great. I expect you here Sunday at 8 p.m. Thanks. Anyway, I'll be back to my office. Yeah. She left the bucket. Want some? Don't mind if I do. Oh, mild spice. Nice. Weird. Maybe she got a mixed up order and that's why she left them here. She usually orders stronger stuff. I found buckets that make my throat itch from just being near me, near them. Oh. Hmm. Say, Jill, what kind of guys do you like? That's a sudden question. I'm not too picky with guys, to be honest. I just want them to be decent enough. Not jealous, not aggressive, responsible enough to keep a job. That's no good. Do you like them buff? What about tall? Hmm. No tattoos or piercings, I guess. Never liked either. What about you? I like them well dressed. If they go on iron shirts, well coordinated clothes, are sure to catch my eye. So I guess that's a no to, from both of you to me. Of course, then. Some muscles are always fine, too. But sharply dressed males catch my attention faster. And yet you're still single. That's how I like my men. My potential husband, on the other hand, is another matter completely. I see. So can you give me a drink here? The spicy wings turn out to be spicy. What do I get you? Anything, as long as it helps with the spiciness in my mouth. Okay. Let's give her something good over the spiciness of the wings. Like an absinthe. You said anything as long as it's not spicy. Zero. This might help. Uh, yep, it did. Zero. Why didn't you pay? All right, so next question. What kind of girl do you like? Mm hmm? You first. Sorry, I don't swing that way. Sure, I have no qualms about saying girls cute, cute or cool, but nope, I prefer, my men, I prefer men in my bed. Now you. Crap, just calm down. Uh, I guess I like girls with light colored hair. Light colored hair? Yeah, you know, like redheads and such. What about white, like your boss? You were just setting me up for that comment, weren't you? Sorry, just when she got here with a bucket of wings, your eyes pretty much started sparkling. Your whole behavior transformed. You became giddy and cheerful all of a sudden. Uh, hey, I can't blame you. She's pretty nice. I just felt like teasing you. <sighs> so, light colored hair. What about blondes? Do you like me? Yeah, I guess. Let's say I'm into girls, too, and I started hitting on you. Would you go along with it? Nice body, pretty face, and a good apartment? I would never let you go. Hey. Okay, then enough tangents. Why don't you tell me why you're feeling crappy all these last days? What? Oh, that. I told you not to think too much about it. And I told you I want to know. Come on, Jill, you've heard my problems so many times, now I want to help you. Hmm. Come on, come here. Eh? I told you to sit here, come on. Eh, what? What are you... Alright then, now I'm the bartender and you're the client. Hardly. The bartending station only works with me. I see. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Then I move this here, click this here, and that works for you, for me, and that dog in a wine shirt. Why did a rabbit show up? Why a rabbit? Is Alma Alice Rabbit? I think Alma's Alice Rabbit. Why with him too? He's a dog in a freaking Hawaiian shirt. Right, how did you even manage to... Oh yeah, hacker. Right. Now we've changed roles. You've been feeling crappy. Mind telling me why? It's a long story. I don't even know where to start. Start from the beginning. Mm. Okay then, it's something that goes back to my college years. Whoa, that's taking it way back. Back in compulsory education. I never made too much of an effort, but I managed to get high grades. Even in PE, I managed to do well enough to get my perfect grades. And then, of course, when I got to college, crap started getting hard. I had this perfectionist streak that wouldn't let me fail anything. Burning my eyelashes, studying, I eventually managed to keep up good grades. After about half the career, I met a student teacher. Her name was Lenore. She helped me into he, yeah. She helped me with a lot of my studies. She even got me into stuff that gave more credits. I really liked her, and after some time, I found out she liked me too. Oh ho ho! We started going out. I met her family even, and you want a drink? What? A drink? Around this time, it's usually a pause to make sure I offer a drink to the client. There was no such pause. Please, what test this whole bartending interface? A sugar rush, then you can't mess that up. Right. Jill asks for a sugar rush. Now, how does this thing work again? Okay, so I probably won't get any money at all for this. But still, big drink. Eh, eh, eh. Mm 
Okay, just mix. There you go. Thanks. How is it? Like I said, you can't mess up a sugar rush. Hmm. I have this gut feeling that with your body, you make a better bartender than me. You sell yourself too short. You're cute, you know. I agree. People don't go to bars for cuteness, though. You've obviously never been to a cat bar, then. Besides, my boobs would be a hassle when trying to move around this kind of stuff. So keep telling the story. <sighs> well, as the career went on and on, it got harder and harder. The last year and a half of it became nothing but study session after study session. Investigations, my thesis. When the graduation came, I had to make a speech. And suddenly, while reading said speech, I almost had a panic attack. Fear of public speaking. I realized I had lost about a year and a half of my life. I tried to remember if I did anything fun at all, but all I could remember was studying and investigating new topics. I didn't even enjoy doing all that, so I was just standing there and the satisfaction of graduating was minimal. I realized I had only gone through the motions day after day, from my school to graduating. I felt like whole years of my life had slipped through my fingers. I never stopped to think if I enjoyed what I was doing, in fact I never stopped. But at that point, I stopped and realized I needed a breather or something. Did I even like that career? It was all terrifying as hell. I needed all my strength to not start running around like a panicked mess. Hmm. <sighs> so a couple months later, I get an offer to start working at this big research facility. Lauren was ecstatic. She was so proud of me back then. But I was just scared. That would be my job. I'd spend my life expanding what I did during that year and a half. What if I suddenly had yeah, what if I had a sudden realization, like the one I had at graduation when I turned 40? I didn't know what to do, but sure as hell wasn't taking that offer. I told Lenore and she freaked out. She confessed she was jealous because she never got such a chance. Things evolved pretty quickly. She said one too many things, I said one too many things. In the end, I just stormed out of her house. I broke a vase in the process. After that, I never spoke to her again. Damn. I'm sorry, I... I suddenly feel bad for pushing you to tell me all that. Why are you feeling crap about this? Uh, to that, that, uh, that. Why are you feeling crappy about that after all this time, though? I've just been feeling crappy for years. I have, but it's not just because of that. Eh? The other day, Lenore's sister Gabri uh, Gabrielle came to this bar. Apparently, Lenore died last week. Localized nano machine rejection. A heart attack. Apparently, she had it for a long time, but never told anyone. And coincidentally, it got worse after I left. And I just can't stop thinking about it. Wondering if me being there would have made a difference. And if it's true she had that for a long time, why didn't she tell me she was sick when we were together? I don't know, I just feel like all kinds of failure. <sighs> Jill. And to make it worse, I also lashed out at Gabby. Yeah, she was blaming for her sister's death and all, but she's just a kid for crap's sake. She lost her sister pretty much raised her on her own. And to top it all off, I suddenly can't remember what stopped from apologizing. Pride? Fear? A stupid effort to leave the most awesome person I loved as a thing of the past? Who cares? I lost my chance to apologize to her forever. Truly forever. I'm such a piece of crap. A selfish piece of crap. Uh, I honestly don't know what to say. I didn't expect the story to be this. I... Yo, boob tender. Yes? Give me a big beer here. Coming right up. A big beer. So, beer. And like this. Get in there. Get in there. Okay. Go. Okay. Big beer for Jill. Thanks. I need to remember to take care of the cans in my apartment. Do you drink lots of beer? One of the perks of the BCC issued liver implant is I can drink lots of beer without getting too wasted. Oh. Hmm. Hey Jill, what kind of girl was Lenore? Hmm? Well, she was calm and smart. Back in college, I was too thick-headed and I got riled up easily. Stress was my default state. So just like you're behaving right now. Shut up, I was worse. Can't picture that. Don't, it's embarrassing. Anyway, she was always there, finding a way to cool me down. She was also able to hold the conversation about pretty much any topic. One time I saw her going talking about video, uh, video games, talking about sports. 
All of a sudden, all that variety while still being a hardcore scientist. She would always push me into social interactions. If she saw me by myself, she would drag me with her. Watching people is fine, but talking to them is better, she would say. Lenore would always present me to her many acquaintances as the girl I don't mind cuddling with for hours. <sighs> Man, I'm gonna miss her. After a point, I didn't even think about getting back into a relationship with her, but... She was just an awesome person, I just wanted to apologize, and now... <sighs> you know, in a cruel twist of irony, she's the one who made me pick up bartending. Oh? Back when I was saying what the hell to do with my life, I remember the night we spent in a club. We started talking about how the drink was synthesized, the chemistry involved, the reactions and all that. Everything sounded so fascinating. I remember that her talk made me want to start mixing drinks. She said if everything else fails, why not take up bartending? Huh, interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Are you okay? For some value of okay, yeah. It's just... I wanted to thank you, Alma. Thank me? I guess I needed someone to tell all this to. And you were the one. You volunteered yourself. You insisted on listening to me. You stood there, listening to the whole thing from beginning to end. I know I might not be the most expressive person, but I'm not one to spout love and fluffiness, but... I really like you. Maybe I'm just a bartender and you're just a client, but I really appreciate your friendship, or at least your patronage. I really enjoy working for you. Jill, you dying? Shut up, I'm trying to have a heart to heart here. Sorry, sorry, it's just, it's weird for you to get so sappy. Well, I just realized the saddest thing is how I'll never be able to make amends. And it hurts like hell, you know? I never, and I mean never, want to feel that way again. I don't want someone to suddenly exit my life and have my li and have my last memory of them involve something nasty. I don't want the lingering grief of having burned a bridge on a whim. I want to avoid that at all costs. If it means breaking character every once in a while, so be it. I'll let everyone know how I really feel about them. If I ever fight with them, I'll swallow my pride, muster all the courage I can, and be the one to apologize. There you go, that's a good way to look at things. I hate feeling like this. Hate it. Hate it. That's a nice resolution. Maybe I'll be a copycat and do the same. Alright, enough sapping. Let's get back here. I'm on duty, you know? Fine. So much closing time, anyway. It was fun while it lasted, though. Hey. Yeah? I mean it, you know? Thanks for everything today. Silly Jill. You listen to my problems and I listen to yours. That's what friends are for, right? Right. I'll be leaving now. Oh, before I forget. Did you ever talk about all this with your parents? They know the basics, but I haven't told them about Lenore's death yet. Why don't you do that sometime? I don't know, I don't want to bother them with my problems. Don't be silly, they're your parents. They'll live to share your problems. You just drive to talk with them. They'll appreciate it. Anyway, I'm out. See you Sunday. Take care. That Alma girl sure is nice. Ah. Boss, did you hear all that? Not all of it, but a good chunk of it at the very least. Your expression changed a lot already. It did? You look happier. That's always good. Anyway, let's call it a day. I expect an even brighter Jill tomorrow. Right. Oh yeah, boss, about those chicken wings. Freaking idiots and spicy chicken. Sorry, Danny, we won't have enough spices for your order until tomorrow, they said. Is that how you treat the regulars? Mm, call them manager. Mm. Boss? Okay. Hey, ah. Uh, what mistake did I make? How did I make a mistake? Crap. Ugh. So I need to make $1,700 tomorrow to pay my rent, or to pay my... Ah! No! Reconnection will start on January 15th. Crap! Okay, at least it didn't result in a game over. Hold on, do I have any money left at all? Okay, I do still have something at least. But okay, this sucks. But, now we're gonna see what happens when she's distracted. Like, I thought that, I, guess I just thought that, like, I'd worked on 24th, and that would, anyways, but, okay, this sucks, but at least the game's still going on. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you see, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, it really helps me out a lot. If you have suggestions for other games for me to play, let me know down in the comments. Again, thank you for watching, and I will see you 
unless my virtues, unless my power gets cut off. Catch y'all later.